Being heart-centered, what does it mean and why is it important for all of our lives? So, to start off, we have to understand that the majority of us in this world are in here way too much. That's why you see the world is often so overcomplicated. Things are so overcomplicated and complex because people are in here way too much. And the reasoning for being heart-centered is you allow love and you allow light and you allow all existence to flow with you, around you, and for you. Because when you're in here, you're not in the constant process of creating, you're in a constant process of feeling. Your magnetic field in your heart is very powerful and it's very healing. And wherever you go in that heart center, you're going to change the world. So when you're in your mind, this right here is a creative center. And by no means am I saying thinking and thought is not a powerful and great ideal and a powerful, great modality for changing the world around you and the world within you. What I'm saying is being centered in your heart will balance your whole body from head to toe because when you're in your heart, you can empower love. You can give yourself love, which will allow you to fill your cup, fill the Holy Grail, so you can spread more love to this world, more healing to this world. But then when you bring your energy back to your mind's eye, when it's time to imagine, when it's time to create and dream and build, then you have the energy, balance, and strength to be charitable and to be of service to the world around you. And when you're in your heart, you're understanding that service is what serves you. All these great gurus and geniuses in this world that have come and gone and people go, how are they so magnificent? How are they so great? How can I possibly be like them? It's actually really freaking easy. You just have to be of service. As the ancient Hawaiians say, they say, when love is given, love naturally flows back in return. When one serves, service naturally flows back in return. So a lot of people are looking to fuel their ego and be, I want to be served so I'll make a bunch of money so people can serve me and people can build for me. And that's all up here because then you're detaching from the rest of your body, just like you're detaching in ego from the rest of the body of the universe and the world, more importantly, this earth and humanity around you. So heart-centered, you're literally in the prime location, the prime center in your body for alignment in the yogic chakra system. It is the middle chakra. In anatomical position, it's the center. So being in your heart is a beautiful way to balance it's a beautiful way to just flow with life people talk about letting go the way I look at it <laughs> it's kind of like right about here people have this sort of trap door and they're all up here they're constantly thinking blah 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 they yada 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 they got so much information going up here that the rest of their bodies they're just like a floating head. So when your heart's centered, it's like this trapdoor falls out. And it's such a relief to feel your whole body feel bliss. Not just your mind, not just thinking about bliss, not just fantasizing about bliss. Allowing it to manifest and drop down and ground into your whole life. And it's very important as a spiritual person, as a regular unawakened person to bring in those great ideas from the crown chakra also called the Bai Hui in Chinese philosophy also that baby spot <laughs> that soft baby spot that you shouldn't touch on your newborn baby because their brains right there but that's where our connection to spirit is that's where our connection to everything is so breathing in through here will energize your full body but only if you allow yourself to be heart-centered only if you allow that trapdoor to flow down allow those floodgates 
Ah, oh, that's a good analogy I just came up with right there. Allow the floodgates to release and whew, that water of spirit will fully energize your whole body. And another thing about being heart-centered is that, as my mentor Alton Sanders taught me, is that if you think about being in your heart center, you won't be in your heart center. So you have to literally whew, figure out whatever you got to do. Meditate, hang out with friends, go to the beach, walk through nature. Just love, 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 love everything you possibly can. Even stuff you hate, just pretend like you love it for five seconds and maybe see if it changes. And being in that heart center will just, I'm telling you, it will change your whole life because you'll just flow. Nothing will bother you anymore. Even things that bother you will be like, oh, maybe that bothering will help me not bother other people. But your heart is so powerful, I can't speak enough about the anahata, that powerful center in your heart, which allows you to bring so much light, so much love, so much healing to the world. And being in that heart center will allow you to most importantly connect with your higher self and your inner child self which already knows your life purpose so many people wander the world looking for their life purpose it's right in here your heart not your nipple your heart <laughs> so when you're in your heart center you're allowing these floodgates to release, right? So we're visualizing as if we have this beautiful water, golden light, violet light, blue light, whatever beautiful light, waterly light coming through your crown chakra. You release that floodgates right now and it goes into your body. But you know where it else it goes? It goes down your feet, out your hands into the world. You're planting seeds now of your particular filter your particular beautiful energy and light and service to the world is now passing through that filter. So you could go on and on and on about the power of your heart, but my message for today is really just enjoy being in that heart center. Just focus from a spiritual aspect of being in that heart center. Not thinking about being heart center, not thinking about being loving, but being loving, feeling loving. And that'll just magnetize and multiply all the love that's already in your life and bring in all more sorts of love and wisdom into your life and you can be of service to this world you can be a superhero in this world you could be a wise man or woman in this world you could be a king or queen all you got to do is just get into that heart don't become a maniacal egocentric floating head become a heart-centered loving, royal, regal being. Peace and love to you all.